Hi and welcome back. In this tutorial I will cover some really useful Linux commands. So let's get started. First command is pwd which displays the present working directory. ls list directory contents. cd is the change directory command. History prints the history. Man displays the online manual for a given command. Clear clears the screen. mkdir to make a directory. cp copy. grep displays the matching lines. alias create a shortcut to a command. touch to create a new file. apt advanced package tool is used to install and remove different programs. ifconfig, in short interface configuration. iwconfig, is similar to ifconfig, but is dedicated to wireless interfaces. locate, find files by name, and nano, which is a command line text editor. So, let's see these commands in action. Open a terminal by clicking on the terminal icon. It's important to keep in mind that unlike Windows, Linux is case sensitive. This means that ls is different from ls. Use pwd to print the working directory. The directory you are in is root in this case. So, use cd command to move to a different location by typing cd slash bin. Enter pwd command again and you are in the bin directory. If you want to see the contents of directory you are in, use ls command or ls with option l. This will show you the size, date, permission and owner of file. To go back to your root folder, just type cd. And to make a directory, use mkdir and type the name of your directory. To remove a directory, use rm command with option R. You can use man to display the manual of a specific command. And a very handy command to clear your screen is clear. If you want to install or remove a program, use apt-get command. To install, type apt-get install and the name of the program. And to remove, type apt-get remove. Use tab key for auto-completion. Touch command is the easiest way to create a file. Type touch and the name of the file. cp is used to make copies of files and directories. Type cp and the name of your file and then the destination. grep is a powerful command which looks for the pattern of the text that you specify on the command line. Let's say you want to find every line which contains the string password in this word list file. Type grep password word list. Alias command can be useful if you want to create a shortcut to a command. Type alias name equal and the command. This will create an alias called cls which will use the clear command. History command can be used to list commands you have typed. To delete all history, use C option. Locate command is the simplest way to find the location of files on Linux. Just type locate and the name of the file. And here is a list of places where the file is located. ifconfig stands for interface configuration. It is used to view and change the configuration of the network interfaces. To view the configuration of a specific interface, type its name here. You can see the IP address and the MAC address. iwconfig is used to display the wireless interfaces on your system. nano is a small and friendly text editor. Just type nano and the path of the file. Nano will follow the path and open that file. Use Ctrl plus O to write and press Enter to save changes. To exit, press Ctrl plus X. So, that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.